One of the biggest mistakes business leaders, entrepreneurs, business managers do, and they do this all over the world every single day and in almost every industry, and that is they work in the business and not on the business. So today I really want to talk to you about the difference between working in your business and working on your business. And as I said, this is a major problem for nearly all business leaders. It doesn't matter, even if you franchise business owners or freelancers, high-powered executives, any business leader struggles with this initially until they figure out how to overcome this challenge of working in their business instead of working on their business. So let's look at firstly, what is the difference between working in your business and working on your business? Working in your business is where you really get into the trenches. You figuring out on a day-to-day -day basis all the problems. You're putting out fires together with your staff. You really take a hands-on approach to everything that's happening in your business. Now, the trouble with that is it consumes time. And time is one of the most valuable assets, especially for business leaders, entrepreneurs, and senior managers. You need to be effectively using your time on uh, activities that are, require your skill set, your direction, your expertise, right? So that's one of the main things. The difference then is working on your business where you then take a step back and you focus on these high level activities, the, the, the big needle pushes that drive the business not only to, you know, 1x, 2x, but to 10x your business, right? That is what is called working on your business. And it's, it's hard, especially when the business is growing and establishing itself or it might be moving into a new industry or a new category of business that, you know, you've got to focus and you try and do, you know, those daily activities, really getting into dealing with customers, working on the products, you know, delivering on the service. So, you know, here's a couple of strategies that hopefully I'm going to share with you that you can use that's going to help you work on your business and stop working or work less in the business. So first thing is I want you to go out and grab a copy of the book, The E-Myth Revisited by Michael Lee Gerber. In there, he'll talk to you about the different types of roles people have. You know, you've got the technician, you've got the entrepreneur. The technician obviously is what we're talking about working in the business and the entrepreneur is, you know, working on the business. So go out and grab a copy of, of that book and make sure that you read it. The second few things, so you know, not only the second, but a couple of things as well that I want you to, to focus on. And that is working through a process of elimination, delegation, and automation, right? So it doesn't necessarily have to be in that order. So I would go first and look at, especially if you've got a team, what can you delegate out, right? Your time is precious and important, and as I mentioned, it's got to be focused on working on high-level activities. Who in your team can you rely on to pass on some of those daily activities that your time is more valuable doing, all right? So delegate that out. The second thing then is to create systems, processes, and then automation. What can you automate? Well, today, there's so many systems, tools, technology, um, software out there that you could use to systemize, um, create processes, and then automate a lot of um, the activities that you do. So what can you then automate? And then very lastly, is this task really that important for you or even one of your staff members to do? So can it be completely eliminated? Is it one of those redundant activities that you don't have to focus on any longer and you just do it just because of what you always done before? So, you know, Look at eliminating that process there. So there's a couple of you know key strategies that you can look on, and that once gets once. And what I want to want you to do there is basically focus on a mindset, changing that mindset of you know what do I need to be constantly working in the business doing versus what do I need to be working on the business that's going to make dramatic changes, dramatic effects on uh, on uh, to the outcome of what I want to achieve and go for forward there. So as I mentioned, it is a process, especially when you know you're so ingrained and you part of your role is to get in, roll up the sleeves and and do the work. 
But as a business leader, is that really effective use of your time, right? You need to be focused on working on the business rather than in the business. I'd also like to share with you one other strategy that you could use as a business leader, entrepreneur, or manager to get you working on the business instead of working in the business. And that is the EOS system. EOS stands for Entrepreneurial Operating System. What is EOS? EOS is a set of simple, practical, real world concepts and uh, tools that you can use in your business to achieve accountability, improve the cohesion between your leadership team and everyone else in your organization, and also help you achieve uh, greater growth and higher profits. EOS is a simple con uh, model and it works in almost any industry with any type of business. So if you'd like to know more about EOS and how we can help you achieve the outcomes that you want to achieve, and that is maybe transforming your business into an unstoppable one, then get in touch with myself or my team, and we'll be happy to schedule a time with you.